Hello daydreamers, it's Michael. This video is a very special video. It's for all 1,000 of you that decided this channel is worth watching. And I'm going to make this. Today I'm gonna to show you how I put together this YouTube plaque. Although it says the name of my channel on it, this is for all of us, the daydreamers out there. What am I talking about when I say daydreamer? A daydreamer is someone who is taking action to discover the work that they love, to build the skills that they need, and solve the problems that matter most to your people. Now please enjoy this time-lapse video where I share every step of how this came together. We're gonna start by designing the award in Adobe Illustrator to give a sense of what it'll look like. Here's a plaque I found online to use as a placeholder for our plaque. We'll start out with the type. I'll just type the name that they have here and then I'll start searching for fonts. Roboto Bold seems to work. All right, now let's change it to my channel name. Now we're gonna make this smaller text down here. I'll drag in the YouTube logo. Now let's drag in the play button and scale it up. Now I can get rid of our placeholder. I'm gonna go with a dark gray background. Change the type to white. I'll drag in my branding elements. Awesome, now I'm gonna send this gorgeous design to my local vinyl printer. While we're waiting for that, let's build the base for the award and the play button. The play button will be cut from two pieces of MDF or medium density fiberboard and glued together. All right, enough chit chat, let's get to work. All right, let's glue together both pieces of the play button, clamp it, and let it sit overnight. Now I'm gonna use epoxy resin to fill that play button up just a little bit closer to the surface. I'm also going to add in a small amount of white acrylic paint. All right, I'll fill that up. I'm going to give that about 24 hours to cure. And then I'm going to paint it with a bright white acrylic paint. And now for the finish, I'm going to put a little bit more epoxy resin on the play button. Mix it up real good. Use a torch to pop the surface bubbles and cover it up for another 24 hours. And while we're waiting for that to cure, let's put 
the vinyl graphics on the painted base. Cut off the excess. And here is our beautiful new play button. The last step is to glue this to the plaque. Now isn't that a thing of beauty? Well, I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you have one of these that you want to build yourself, there's a link to all the materials in the description so that you could go uh, find everything that you need to put your play button together. If you've reached a thousand subscribers yourself, you are in good company. Please leave me a comment below and I'd love to congratulate you. If you're someone who's solving creative problems for people or looking for work that you love or building your skills, join my tribe and click the subscribe button if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to be notified of future videos, click the bell icon, and I will see all 1,000 of you in the next video. Take care. I'm a sucker for your love.